We go live now to Venezuela again. The president of the National Assembly and head of the Venezuela Nuestra Strike Campaign Command, Jorge Rodriguez, is offering statements. As it were the election itself, that was the drill. And we said it's not the election. We have been here waiting eight hours, but people say, I want to vote in the drill because it's my duty as citizen to show the whole country, the whole world, that democracy in Venezuela, uh, that uh, the, the de de democracy in elections in Venezuela. That's the spirit of our Venezuelan people. We congratulate all the Venezuelan people, people who were uh, massively participated in ye yesterday in the drill. We want to congratulate the National Electoral Council because every time they showcase their wisdom, strength, efficacy, the, it is uh, uh, to, uh, our electoral system is the best of the world. Who has the capacity to deploy, to establish an electoral system so solid, so excellent, so fast. Remember that uh, the, some, uh, some op op opponents uh, um, burned da down some devices some in, amid the, the uh, well, some, some ballots, uh, but they made us a favor because our Electoral machines are more so, more strong, are stronger and effective. This is the strength that yesterday was demonstrated in all uh, polling stations. I congratulate all the, the, the Venezuelan armed forces that uh, were there as a mechanism of, of the electoral machines. Uh, were very accurate. Accurate. If, uh, Fifteen. Uh, none of the devices of the machines uh, had any failure, and so we proved our machinery, our devices, our strength. And I want to send a message to. Uh, one, uh, one per ten per seven to uh, the all political parties, parties to the future movement to the social movements our women our grandparents our workers our farmers our fisher men our intellectuals our university professors to all the our communities to our militia men and women, to all people of Venezuela, I want to congratulate because it was a powerful a demonstration of what, of how Venezuelans uh, do things with peace, with modesty, with humbleness and without letting anything at random. With that congratulation, I want to say that we already win. Our elections are on July 28th, but I want to say that it was a very good uh, pla uh, launching platform in the uh, yesterday. We will just polish uh, some things in the, uh, in terms of uh, synchronization, but the machinery, it just worked uh, almost perfect. The uh, National Center of Data, the municipal uh, uh, data, the logistics was a, a, a bit sh uh, shortage because we don't know the, so much attendance on the polling stations because it was a massive participation on, on uh, yes on, on Sunday, but definitely definitely it was a truly demonstration of how things are done here. Working it, working on that on, on them, striving, making s very much effort. Uh, it was a demonstration of how. We are going to move forward 
because if you uh, realize there has been a surging of uh, emotions uh, around our candidates and uh, in that direction we we have we have to continue follow following because it was uh, a, a very resounding uh, day but we are just thinking uh, as as the as the same as happened on the the soccer cup on the cup of americas we uh, have to focus on the final what happened yesterday was a very uh, powerful sign because uh, don't don't say it later we we don't we we didn't tell you uh, we are going to go uh, a house by house person by person, concern by concern, uh, question by question, answer by answer, step by step. I would like to, Rafael, uh, make uh, some statements on the, on uh, yesterday's drill. Well, good morning to all, to our heads of uh, command, uh, spokespersons, uh, yesterday, I I made some statements that um, I've I've been participating over 25 years, and I have never seen what I saw yesterday. I, I've never seen it in numbers, in emotions, in feelings. And that say a lot about the perception that the people, the Venezuelan people have regarding what's happening and what's going to happen on July 28th. The Venezuelan people today is betting on the future and with their hope. And yesterday, they just attended the the go to went to the polls uh, as just the, uh, the, the as just the start that was that was just an opening of what what's about to happen was uh, of the gala on, on july 28th yesterday was a day like uh, one didn't uh, stop uh, strengthening that feeling of being Venezuela, Venezuelan, because yesterday our people, Jorge, sent a message, a very clear message to international community. Why? Because uh, it's a people who defends their identity, their democracy. It's telling the world, it's telling those oppressors who, are, who continue uh, generating negative situations and difficulties for Venezuela that we are not willing to surrender. And we are willing to, uh, we are just committed with our democracy, with our democratic uh, institutions, with peace. That yesterday it was a, a demonstration and a message for peace. Because on July 28th, that cycle uh, is uh, is the closure of that cycle, and it's very important, very important because seeing the the faces of leaders, uh, well, of thousands of of thousands of people from Caracas, because I was able to participate there on the polling centers, and it was about eight o'clock. I was in Isabelica there. It, it is a, a, a middle class uh, si a site, and it was just crowded at 8 o'clock. I thought, it, well, there, there was a shortage of everything, of water, of everything, because uh, uh, we just surpa surpassed the figure of participants. Beyond that, uh, cynicism, cynicism uh, well, it, it, it was a, a, 
a democratic party for of Venezuelans that want to express and are going to express what they want to happen to here in elections. I, I have no doubts. I am sure about it because yesterday what I saw, I've never seen it before. In over 20 years, I've been just organizing these uh, electoral processes with um, many of our governor's partners. What I've been seeing right now in Carabobos, it, it was uh, the same in Merida, in, in other uh, departments, in everywhere. Well, then, as I just, uh, I just uh, uh, continue walking across the nation as we all have, have been do doing. What I have been seeing in all these weeks, uh, walking on the, the streets, is the hope, the encouragement, the uh, the hope is on the streets, faith is on the streets, and that's why today we 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 have been very happy. But as Jorge said, this this is not uh, going to. Uh, we are not going to relax about about the elections because with our organization one per ten, which was very accepted uh, on f uh, phone, on hands, and everyone is activated, is active. And so I congratulate all th those who participate in the election, in the drill elections today, uh, yesterday. And that machinery, it, it, that one per 10 per seven gave uh, a provided a, a demonstration of real unity of the strength of unity because it's the first time that we are testing the machinery that goes beyond the capacities and forces of the of of a, well so the, the communities and the the future movement with its one per ten, the farmers with its uh, one per ten, big missions with its their one per ten, the ramp parents, uh, the mission missions for women, elderly, all one per ten, just uh, uh, having phone conversations, uh, calling, and it worked perfectly. It, it worked out perfectly, and it's not. It's only the beginning. We are just uh, warming up. The as Rafael said, the the final battle is on July 28th, and we are going ahead towards that date. And on July 4th, uh, it, the campaign launches, uh, begins, uh, ushers, and we are going to. Uh, start with the taking on, taking uh, f uh, 70 cities c cities uh, so we are going going to have big marches on the 70 cities as a homage to the birth anniversary of commander Hugo Chavez who who by coincidence uh, it's it's birth birth anniversary there on July 28th. Uh, so we end, we finished the campaign with e elections. 70 cities for the 70 years, uh, for the 70 years and birth anniversary of Hugo Chavez. And in Caracas, we'll, we'll have a huge march Starting from Petates uh, to, uh, to Miraflores, and another huge uh, march uh, with uh, several affluence uh, of popular sectors. Uh, people from towns are going to participate, and across the whole city, 
there's gonna be marches just uh, together from the from parishes and from municipalities so we have registered the na ids and names of we've got uh, 20,000 motorbikes registered that are going to attend the march and we are going to have many many uh, many motos never seen before in this city but we, and so we have many more because uh, these motors, m motorbikes are going to uh, go along with this march. Uh, on the, uh, we are going to take the city with joy, especially, especially in the city of Caracas, with our joy, with our music, with our lives, with our uh, forces and strength with our capacity for calling. We are not going to let anything at random. We are going to uh, hundreds of hundreds of, uh, of thousands of people are going to participate in these marches. 70 cities for the 70, birth, 70 years of uh, the of Chavez. Uh, there's gonna be um, from the municipality of Boliv of Libertador, from the state of Miranda. Uh, these marches from there are going to uh, to end uh, to have uh, some joining with the the big march in March in Caracas. We are going to. Um, meet across, we are going to meet across for a political activity. And that's the start of uh, the campaign of this uh, um, growing force for for preserving peace. Nicolás, Mari, Ma, Nicolás Maduro is a gar, gar, guarantee of peace, is guarantee of, uh, of freedom uh, that everybody m m should do uh, everything they want to do uh, and just to avoid violence uh, the only guarantee of peace is is uh, his name is nicolas maduros and on july 4th it's just a coincidence the day of independence in the united states will take the streets of this country with marches and uh, we are very glad to answer questions by the AF AFP. Uh, seven, seven, uh, 69 cities plus uh, Caracas. We hope the call. Uh, legislator, I want to ask you, how have, are you seeing the all, the all electoral outlook? How, how are you? Uh, seeing the the opposition, and I ask you on July 29th uh, if whether Maduro wins or the opposition wins, how do you uh, see the country? Well, uh, I would like you to ask you how do you see the opposition uh, m marches? Uh, the latest picture in the in the south and beyond uh, the these guys be, beyond those uh, those uh, the tricks and maneuvers the truth is on the streets as as the as hope and the truth is is that it's not only nicolas maduro has managed to summon hundreds of of thousands of, of Venezuelans. I have never seen something like that. Uh, every Everywhere we go in small or middle towns, uh, people uh, go, go out uh, to welcome Maduro. And this is something that they, it cannot be hidden, not with the tricks or uh, maneuvers that's the the pure truth 
besides the demonstration that the, the drill, uh, demonstration of the deal is not only a, a, a technical proof, it's not only a, a wonderful deployment of our devices of, or the, the machinery of, of the opponent parties. All, all opposition parties uh, participated voting. I saw them voting. I saw them all voting, and they all called for participating on, on the electoral drill. Uh, there, there was a, a communique in which uh, they they said uh, they uh, they were participated, and so there was a political demonstration yesterday. This doesn't imply that the, this was the election, but one thing is true is that Venezuela has been doing drills since uh, 1994. Uh, sorry, since uh, 200, since 2004. By uh, the the first time was by Chavez confirming the its uh, term. It, it was, uh, we did it on 2013, on 2012, on 2013 when the President Maduro uh, defeated uh, Capriles, and on 2016 when the, uh, President Maduro uh, defeated uh, um, Bertucci, and uh, we have been doing it uh, today. And, uh, and if, uh, uh, the result of the drill that we know, and, and we are going to disclose, to disclose the tally of the drill is uh, getting closer to, well, gets closer to the uh, ele uh, to elections. He has been re repeated on, two, on, on 2004, on, on 2018, and well, it's, likely that to be repeated on July 28th. Coincidences of life or, uh, well, I have no no way to say it, but because I don't have, I don't have the technical instruments, but that's what's happening. Uh, a huge uh, demonstration of strength of encouragement uh, so we were oh, surpassed uh, logis log about regarding logistics and many machines uh, blocked because of the massive participation in Carabobos, Miranda, Car uh, Zulia, Bolivar, Yaracuy. Uh, machines uh, were blocked because there were so many so many ballots uh, that they didn't get, couldn't get any, any more, any other. Good afternoon. Yesterday there were claims about uh, the known uh, red spots. I, I would like to know about that. Uh, in a couple of weeks ago, there was uh, uh, a, 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 you all uh, signed an agreement. Uh, if some of these agreements, uh, uh, what would be your position in on this agreement? There is n no worse counselor for an electoral event than the, the tri uh, triumph. Without saying that we win, we are gonna win the presidential elections on July 28th. Don't hesitate about it. Just take notes on that, and we'll be talking on July 29. I invite you to here to Bolivar Theater, and I am gonna say, I told you, Andres. Come, two of us. Come, the two of us. And uh, the, it's not. Uh, it's tricolor spots, and they are just perfectly accepted in the in the protocols. And uh, we respect, we strictly respect what is established in the electoral law. 
I don't know why the, uh, th there was a, a claim if there is no uh, violation of anything. The, in the polling centers, there couldn't be any allusions for, of any political um, trend, but we have uh, some checkpoints that are established established within the law and that allow us to have to monitor the elections it's perfectly legally uh, you can read the barbados agreement there's no prohibition regarding the tricolor uh, points or spots uh, a single question And, and, and I just answer you, Andres, what's going to happen on July 28th. I wish uh, God the behavior of opposition candidates be calm, be serious, be respectable, and recognize the results as we have been doing in the two times that we weren't uh, favored by, by the Venezuelan people but on july 20, 28th we will win uh, well the first question has to do uh, taking into account the recent uh, claims about the destabil destabilizing uh, uh, plans on uh, destabilize well uh, it has to do with the issue of security how do you prepare for the security uh, issue taking into account that uh, maybe the opposition generate uh, any uh, uh, violence um, from our capacities, from our machineries, from our forces, is the, also the, the process of defending the vote, uh, defending the process of peace. And we have been very cautious yesterday. We have a special center for in which uh, we receive uh, uh, claims of uh, any uh, incident, and we have also the Republic plan that uh, proved, proved yesterday the capacity. It has to uh, provide assistance to any uh, attempt of destabilization, uh, violating the, the um, violating the, the articles of uh, non-interference in the affairs of other countries has been uh, violated by the Millet's statement. Uh, I wish they just uh, come here and say and, and be observers of this uh, legitimate process, but they are just organizing to 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 see motorbikes in the polling stations. And just, I invite you to uh, come here on Thursday if you want to, to see a mobilization of motorbikes. In our plans of, I refer to the, we, well, we won't allow that any e incident or event uh, d dirt uh, d uh, stained the the process of, the, of uh, voting in peace. Uh, there's coming um, stability months and prosperity month for Venezuela. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. We were listening to the statements of Jorge Rodriguez, head of the Venezuela Nuestra Campaign Command. Rodriguez congratulated the Venezuelan people for their outstanding performance in the electoral drill on Sunday. Rodriguez also praised the work of law enforcement and security forces for the outstanding work guaranteeing peace. Rodriguez also said the drill demonstrated the effectiveness of the electoral system in Venezuela, describing it as the best in the world. Finally, Rodriguez announced 70 large rallies across the nations as part of the campaign, sending rallies for the 70th birth anniversary of Commander Hugo Chavez. Like this